Hi, Ed Diaz here. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate how to record MIDI inside Ableton Live's arrangement view. All right, let's get started. So in the last video, we demonstrated how to record uh, MIDI inside the session view uh, or live set, the session view of Ableton. Very easy. But in this video, we're going to do something similar, but we're going to do it this time inside arrangement view. So if we take a look at Ableton right now, what I have here, uh, this is the session view. And now I'm going to go into the arrangement view. It's going to be a very similar thing, but this is going to give you more of that linear feel. So this is can be a lot of fun if we wanted to do it this way. From the previous video, I already kind of set up some tracks. Uh, I set up the midis ends, and these are all midis. And I set up a uh, zone two as a bass, zone three as an electric piano, uh, zone and zone eight as drums. All right, that's totally fine. We can go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that uh, we're all set here. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure, since I'm going to be doing some drum stuff, I have the arrangement. Uh, overdub on okay so that way I can go ahead and keep on overdubbing and adding different instruments uh, to this particular track uh, instruments such as drum instruments okay so I think I'm set let's go ahead on the phantom make sure we do a zone select of number eight and I previously selected the analog drum kits okay so and if we look here we see that they are talking great and now let's go ahead and arm that track Great, now we see it completely there. Okay, so I have the zones ready here. I took off the arrangement overdub at this time. I might turn it on in a little bit, but let's go ahead and just record and uh, see what we have going on. Okay, back it up, and here we go. One measure count in. Great, so now we should have a nice clip and I should be able right here to go ahead and let's just play it back. Let's go ahead and see if we can do some overdubbing right here. So I just turned on that and let's record. Great, I had a little bit of hold over there, but not an issue. There we go, nice, perfect. All right, let's do another one. And you know, this is great. I'm able to go in here and just really have fun just recording, just recording uh, that MIDI. And I'm going directly from the Phantom into Ableton, and then Ableton in turn is sending the MIDI, because remember, MIDI and audio are two separate things, sending it right back to the Phantom and triggering the Phantom's engine. Now, let me show you why this is cool. Let's say we recorded this, and let's give it a quick listen. All right, let's say we recorded that, and after just living with it for a minute, I might say, you know what, I'm not sure if I'm digging that drum kit. I might want to change it. I can go into my drum kits here, and I can say, let's try some different drum kits. Maybe I'll go ahead and put this on a loop. There we go, I have it on a loop now, and I can audition drum kits. So let's go ahead and get it going. Let's hear another drum kit. So as you can hear and see, this having the MIDI is really cool. If it was audio, that would just be printed, and that was all I could do with it. So with the MIDI, I can go ahead and maybe change out different parts of the kit if I want to, or the entire drum kit, or use it in another program altogether. All right, so that's that. So let's go ahead and record another track real quick. I'll go ahead and choose bass this time, and let me go ahead and go back to my original drum kit. Uh, I'm going to choose bass this time. I'm going to turn it on record arm, and I'll go ahead and take off the arm recording for that one. And I'm going to go to zone two because that is where I've uh, designated my bass to live. So drop it an octave for me. 
Let's go ahead and record that guy right there. I'll take off the loop at this time, and I think we're set. All right, everything looked good. We are number two is selected, zone two. I have zone two uh, armed inside Ableton, so I think we're good to go. Let's give it a shot. Here we go. Great, we have that going. Let's go ahead and back this up. Uh, Make sure, give it a listen, and we should be good. Let's give it a listen. No problem. And I heard a little bit of going a little bit too too early there. We can give it another listen. And that one was too early. We can move that guy over and give it another listen. Good, a little bit better. Still not quite happy with it, but that's okay. I'll adjust my loop here to two, so that way everything matches. Because in essence, this is like uh, this is like a linear recording. So let me go ahead and adjust that height so you see everything. Great. So we have those two there. Just a nice two-bar loop. Great, we have it there. So let's go ahead and bring in maybe zone three, which is the electric piano. Got that going, it's ready there. And now let's go ahead and zone select number three. Get this one set. Great, let's, I think we're ready to record. It is showing up. Great, all right, let's go ahead and record. Here we go, let's back it up. And here we go, one measure. Great, there it is. Now let's get it to be at a perfect little loop. And I'll turn on my loop right there. And we should be good to go. So there you go. As you see, recording MIDI, whether we are in arrangement view or we are in the session view, is very easy. And right now, I just I'm just using the Phantom. I'm just using eight of the 16 zones, and we just recorded three examples here. I have my uh, data that I recorded inside the live set or session view, and I also have what I recorded inside the arrangement view. And so join me in the next video where we're going to mix and match these together and just kind of have some fun with it. All right. I hope this helps you out. You guys take care, and we'll talk to you soon.